said the, the passing game was a little crisper in the second scrimmage. What did you see? Yeah, it was. You know, we had some kids make some plays. We had some uh, broken plays, which is going to happen sometimes. That we actually we threw the ball really well on the run. Uh, so had some guys open, made some big plays. Uh, we were more explosive this scrimmage than we were the, the first scrimmage, so that was good. We're looking for one out of every seven, uh, and we were. Uh, so that was that was something to build off of. How, how was Terry taking steps forward in the second go around? I, I think the biggest thing is right now is that we're trying to get the ball down the field. So there is some actually some new stuff, and that's what you can do in the spring. But uh, yeah, you know, he just looks more comfortable back there, not moving around and, and stepping up when you've got stuff coming. He's sitting there and he's, he's able to uh, uh, make some plays a little bit quicker, decision making quicker. Uh, and then you know you look at Gunner. Gunner, Gunner had a really good scrimmage on Saturday. And, and He's pushing the heck out of him, and, and that's great because that's what you want. You want that competition, but I think Terry is definitely making improvement. We got a long way to go, but you can see it. Who are you down here, uh, down the field, Rex? You know, I think uh, you look at uh, Cleveland Thomas is having a, uh, a really good scrimmage. You know, and down the field, you know, it's not always just you know down the field on takeoffs. It's uh, you know deep drags and, and guys coming across the field through a play action pass, and uh, Bryce Oliver has done a good job. Getting vertical force, so he's a guy that can be a threat. So those two guys have, have stuck out so far uh, here in the last couple of weeks. It seems like there's a lot of guys in the mix. How do you kind of separate them from one another? Well, the separation, you know, they're, they're trying to win a spot right now, but then this summer is going to be huge for us. You know, how much time do they put in? How much time are they going to be with Coach Ed, getting bigger, stronger, faster? And then it'll be those 29 practices too that are going to be huge to, to see which guys will separate. Hey, how much has Lynn grown, not just as a player, but a person since he got here? That's a great question. I think both. You know, he's, he's really in, uh, engaged in what we're doing. We use him in a lot of spots, so he's got to know a lot. He does. He helps get guys lined up and, and him coaching it. And, uh, so, you know, and then him being in his third year now, uh, he, he is a better receiver. You know, he's getting in at a breaks different. He's understanding leverage from defensive backs. He's seen coverages a little bit better. Uh, and, you know, he's still got to get better, but, uh, you know, you can see the, the progress with him. How surprised were you when he showed up without the dreads? I told him he looked great. <laughs> uh, he looked good with the dreads, too. But uh, Well, you, you said know, he, he felt like he wasn't connecting with fans. Have you ever heard a player talk about something like that? No, that I haven't. But we always talk about your, your image and, and the brand that you're building, right? And, and we do a lot uh, in our sports information especially through the summer and, and our team building and, uh, you know, that's part of it. You build a brand and, and he wants to build a brand. And so I think that's probably where the comment came from. Hey, what kind of weapon can Keaton Upshaw be with his size when he's healthy and Omar Cesar will pick up? Yeah, he is banged up and, uh, you know, he, he's such a huge target that, that when you look covered, those big guys look covered, you kind of put it on them. Uh, Justin Rigg made a couple of nice plays today. and. And sometimes they don't look open and you got to throw it. So I think those guys can be the, that type of target, you know. So uh, we need to get him healthy. Uh, he's been healthy now a couple times, but you can see uh, something pretty special there, I think. What kind of play have you got from your offensive line? Uh, we've been good, but we've been inconsistent. And it's not just inconsistent with our offensive line. This is where we need to get offensively right now. We're just haven't been consistent yet. Sometimes we look like you come off and after a set of four or five plays and you go, yeah, we're, 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 we're pretty good. You know, we got a chance. Uh, and then, you know, then we'll go three and out, three and out. Uh, and so it's just the consistency part there. Uh, and it's, it's, it's one guy. Offense is about execution. So, but uh, up front, uh, really like the way we ran the ball in the scrimmage. Uh, and we're trying to do a lot of things, you know. We're, we're, we're really trying to, on first down, P and 10, we're trying to take shots, throw the ball down the field, and you have to do that. You know, and after a while, the defense sees it a lot. We see a lot of what they're doing, you know, and they match it up great. And that's when you have to make contested throws and contested catches. So I love it. It's, it's great for us to get better. Eddie, when it comes to yep. working Sorry. with Terry, we've seen his physical attributes, but in terms of connecting with him, what, what does he bring to the table that Kind of makes him stand out a little bit. Yeah, I think it's his, his want to, his want to of being a better quarterback. You know, if you, but that position right there, it's hard. When the Bulls start flying, we had a huge third down period today. They put in two or three new defenses and blitzes. And if you're not studying it, you're not in there, and you're not, you know, really embracing 
you know, what's going on, you don't have a chance. You're just going to be guessing. So I, I think that's what they're doing. Those quarterbacks are, are getting in there and they're, they're really trying to learn it, to try to become a better quarterback. Where are your check downs? You know, where are my enemies at? Uh, when I'm hot, you know, have I have I done the right things to make sure that the receivers know and that and that he knows where the ball is going and we're evolving there. We're not there yet, but we're evolving. What have you seen from Landon Young from Doug Major? Who's that? Landon Young. Yeah, I, I really like where Landon is right now. He uh, he's really uh, you know you're not when we're sitting there in the film room we're not making a lot of comments about him. Usually that's a pretty good deal for 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 kids and. Uh, you know, he's really working hard on his pass protection, and uh, I think he's gotten a lot better there. And, and he hasn't missed a rep, and that's pretty, that's pretty good for uh, coming off that injury. Uh, he, it's like nothing's ever happened to him. He looks stronger, and so uh, I'm, I'm excited about where he's at. Okay, folks.